Welcome to today's lesson continuing 3C biceps and triceps. But before we get started with that, let's take a look at something that a lot of people are doing. Too many of you are still trying to turn in your fitness activity and nutrition log before the week is up. If you turn it in before the week is up, you're not going to get credit for the full week. If you turn it in on the first day, you're only going to get like 15% of your grade of the 100%. And that's going to kill your grade. Even if you turn it in halfway through the week, 50% compared to 100% on your grade is going to make a big difference. So I erase your answers and then I let you start again. But please pay attention and don't turn it in till the end of the week so you can record the whole week. And by the end of the week, I mean on Saturday evening. All right, not before then. Last lesson, we were focused on the bicep. This lesson... We're going to focus on the tricep. Remember, muscles work together. When the biceps contract, the arm comes up this way. And while that's happening, the triceps are relaxing. But when we want the arm to go the other way, then the biceps have to relax, and now the triceps contract. Remember, bi means two, like a bicycle has two wheels. And tri means three. Just like there's three wheels on a tricycle, there are three muscles which are part of a tricep. Look, and it's a little bit easier to see on the biceps as opposed to the triceps, but this is the front view of the arm. And here is one part of the muscle of the biceps. And here is the other part of the muscle on the biceps. As far as the triceps, it's pretty easy to see one muscle here and one muscle here, but it's hard to see the third muscle. Um, so let me show you another picture. So on this image, you can see the three different parts of the tricep muscle color-coded. The reason that the third one was hard to see is because it's kind of buried inside. And on that last picture, you couldn't see because it was kind of hidden. But over here, you can kind of see the three different parts of the tricep. Here is another look at it all together. One, two, three. So let me go over again the difference between flexing and extending. Flexion and extension. Flexion is also called a curl. So when people do bicep curls, they're bringing their arm up and in together. They're going from straight to bent. Opposite of that is an extension when you go from bent to straight. We use our biceps muscles to flex and we use our tricep muscles to extend. Here's how our biceps work and our triceps work together against gravity. Gravity wants to pull the weight down. While that is happening, our triceps are relaxing, but our biceps can't relax because our biceps are going to fight against the gravity to pull the weight back up. And that pulling motion against gravity is actually called a curl. Flexion is also a term used but we, for the purposes of weight training or lifting or athletics, we tend to call it a curl. So you can see against gravity, when we go from straight arm to bent arm, it's a curl. In the last image, we showed how the bicep fights gravity to go from straight to bent. In this case, We've got the same scenario against gravity, but now we are starting in a bent situation where gravity is pulling the dumbbell back down this way, but now we're going to actually have to extend to straighten the arm out. So when we do a curl, we go from straight to bent, and when we do an extension, we go from bent to straight, and again, we're just fighting against gravity, and that is how the muscle is working.
So here we're using a machine to do a bicep curl, going from straight to bent. And here we're using a machine to do a tricep extension, going from bent to straight. Now this is where it gets confusing for people sometimes because if, when you fight against gravity, you're always pulling up against it. But what these pulleys do is they change and they flip what's happening. We're still pulling up against gravity, but because we're wrapping around the pulleys and now we're actually coming down against it. So it seems like we're not going against gravity but we are. It's just you have to follow the string all the way around to see that when you extend, okay, when you extend, that weight now comes up. So we are fighting against gravity, but it's the weights fighting against gravity around the pulleys as the arms do their extension. So this is a tricep extension from a machine. Let's take a look at the different variety of when you work out your biceps or your triceps. Sometimes people are standing, fighting against gravity. Sometimes people are sitting, fighting against gravity. Sometimes people are using machines to extend and fight against gravity. Right here, we're using a resistance band to do the same thing as this guy's doing, but he's using a machine. In this case, we're using dumbbells to fight against gravity, and he's going with a hammer grip. One at a time, two hands at a time, but a resistance band. Tricep extensions against gravity. Bicep curls with a machine against gravity. This is actually tricep extensions. He pushes it out or extends it out with a machine. Right here, we've got an easy bar and he's doing a curl against gravity. A tricep extension, single arm, with a dumbbell against gravity. This person's lying down against on a bench and this arm is going to come back down. So he's doing a tricep extension while lying down with one arm against gravity. So there's a bunch of variety in how you can do it. So let's explain why people do all these different things. As you notice, there are different grips and there's a reason for the different grips. This person right here is gripping the bar with a regular grip. And the rule pretty much is, if your thumbs are out, you're working the inside of your biceps a little bit more. If your thumbs are in, like for example right here, when he's doing a reverse grip, notice the knuckles are up, he's working the outside of his arm. So it's pretty much opposite of the thumb. So when your thumbs are in, you work the outside of the bicep more. When your thumbs are out, you work the inside of your bicep more. And when you do a hammer grip, you work the bicep pretty much evenly, though I don't have a hammer grip that I can see Rules. right here. Apply for triceps, opposite of the thumb. So if you've got a regular grip here and he's gripping it, with his thumbs on the inside, he's working a little bit more on the outside of his triceps. Over here, essentially, we've got a hammer grip, which means he's working his triceps pretty much evenly. And if you ever have your thumbs out, you tend to work the inside of your triceps a little bit more, though I don't see that grip right here. And last but not least, Stretching the biceps, all we're doing is we're making the muscle as long as possible, making the muscle as long as possible, making the muscle as long as possible, right here again, as long as possible, and that's how we stretch our bicep. Here is how we stretch our tricep. All we're doing is making the tricep as long as possible. Okay, and when you make the tricep as long as possible, you are now stretching your tricep. And you can see right here, it's a good example of it. Hopefully that helps you understand the difference between flexion and extension. In other words, a curl, when you bring your arm from straight to bent, 
or an extension when you take your arm from bent to straight, and the different grips. If your thumb is out, you work the inside of the muscles more. If your thumb is in, you work the outside of the muscles more. And if you're, you have a hammer grip, you work the muscles somewhat evenly. Go ahead and start turning your cameras on now. As soon as all the cameras are on, I will release you. Anyone who came late, make sure you stay late just to talk to me, and I promise you I will mark you present. Anyone who has a camera issue and can't turn it on, make sure you stay after to explain why. Have a good day.